Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about a new 2021 R2 feature of Acumatica that allows you to create a task based on a business event. So for those of you who haven't seen our videos on business events, Acumatica's business events are very powerful. They allow you to create some sort of condition, and when that condition is triggered, you can fire off a subscriber event. Now, what is a subscriber? Well, a subscriber could be anything from an email to an import scenario. Uh, you could do a mobile push pop-up. So on your mobile device, you can have a pop-up message or even an SMS text message based on the plugin providers that we have, AWS and Twilio. But now for 2021 R2, we can also create a task. So for example, we have a new sales order that's been created. Maybe it was imported through our e-commerce integration, our e-commerce integration with Big Commerce, Shopify, uh, new to come is also VTEX platform. So sales order gets created and we want someone to follow up with the customer based on certain conditions. So if we go back, right now we have a business event called new sales order. And essentially it looks at the sales order screen. This is to say the sales order transaction screen, not the listing generic inquiry screen. So it has that. And the type is triggered by record change, meaning the instant something happens, we're going to fire that subscriber. But what is it that happens that will fire that subscriber event? Well, we essentially said record inserted. We have other options here. You can change those as you want and compare different fields against different conditions. But here, we essentially said as soon as a new sales order is created, record inserted, we're going to create a task. So if we go back and we go to new sales order and rather than fill all this in, I have a template for quick order computers. And if I create this and just hit save, then what you'll see here is this activities in a few seconds, this activities will change to one we'll refresh. And now you can see that activity there. And if we click on it, you can see the task. So the task was created. We have it created for Maxwell Baker, but that could be associated to variables on the sales order. For example, the salesperson or the owner of the sales order. And we put some text in there, follow up on sales order 6332 for customer XYZ. And we even put a time and date in there. So how did we do that? Well, the best way to explain that is to create a new business event and I'll show you. So let's go back to business events and we'll click on plus here. And let's create a business event where a sales order goes into credit status. And as soon as it does, we create a task for our credit department to follow up. So sales order credit status put any event ID in there. You may very well be more creative than I was here. We'll pick the screen name of sales orders, transactions. This, we want the screen, not the generic inquiry, because the screen has more of the tables associated with it, with the workflow. It understands how to associate the task and everything. So we're going to pick this. And we're going to create a trigger where a new field value for the document. So we're looking for status here. Is now equal to credit hold. Okay, so that's the first part. So this is gonna do something. We just don't have it doing anything, but it's gonna definitely pick up these details. Anytime a sales order becomes credit hold. So now we'll go into our subscriber and we'll create a new task. That's the new feature in 2021 R2. So this is going to be follow up on credit hold sales order. 
So the owner, when we hit the magnifying glass in these templates, it'll give us the entire set of tables here. So for example, we can click on entity and you can see all the fields here. The other thing you can do is you can click on plus for owners and Acumatica puts everything alphabetically. So if we wanted to, for example, under the D, if we wanted David Chubb to follow up because he's the guy in the credit department, we can do that. Notice we have attached activity. We want that because when we open up the sales order, we want to follow the activity that's associated to that sales order. We also, when we open up our task list, we want to have a direct link to the sales order so we can open it up and talk to the customer about it. So follow up with customer on sales order and we'll put the order number here. And actually maybe what we'll do instead of saying with customer, we'll take this out and we'll put a field in there, something more valuable. So we'll go to sales order and we'll go to the contact of the sales order and we'll go to the contact name. So follow up with, you can see it didn't exactly paste it right, So, but we'll just do our own work. Control X and we'll put it back here, Control V. That's the shortcut, cut and paste. So now for the body, we're gonna do the same thing. Sometimes I like to put the same as what's in the subject or the summary here. But maybe I'll add something like the phone number. So we'll say insert data field and we'll look for the contact phone number. And of course we'll have a link to be able to email from Acumatica directly. So we could also include an email field here if we wanted to, but. And then under task settings, this gives us the settings to set up the task correctly. So for example, the start date and the due date, you know, these things we can fill in. You'll notice that you end up with a list of fields that you can pass on if there happened to be an attribute field for the sales order saying to the customer hey I need this by a certain date well you can use that and actually fill in the task and create a due date based on some sort of user-defined field in the sales order that the salesperson was required to fill out but what we really want for this example is remind so maybe we want to remind ourselves, and maybe we want to remind ourselves at a certain date and time. Again, we could use other fields, but in this case, I'm just going to use today as a reminder. But you can do anything you want here. You can say, all right, well, why don't we take today plus seven days? I want to follow up in seven days or something. For a credit limit, you probably want to follow up right away. So we'll click OK on that. And we want this reminder checkbox, and it'll all be apparent when we show you the task dialog box that you fill out, but we want this to be true. So again, if you go into the pencil here, you'll see all the options. And that's pretty much it. That's all we really care about right now. We could put a priority on this if we want to, but this is good enough. Now, we'll minimize that, and Essentially, we have our subscriber and our trigger condition. So what we want to do now is go over to sales orders and we want to get this into a credit hold. Now, there's no way to force the document into a credit hold. So what we'll do here is we'll go into order types. It's not exactly part of the demonstration today, but we need to simulate it. So we'll look up our sales order credit type. And we'll say hold document on failed credit check. That's great. And now for USA bartending, I'm not going to do anything with them. I'm going to change to some other customer here, maybe Baker Development. And I'm going to hit the pencil on them and set up their credit status. So they have limit days past due. I'll change that to $10 and 90 days ought to be okay. So we'll save and close it. And now if we put it on hold and we remove the hold, 
You can see Acumatica flagged it accordingly to credit hold. We could have created another order. We could have copied and pasted the sales order, and that would have also said, hey, wait, this is credit hold. But it checked it now. So now that it's on credit hold, notice the activity here. There's actually two because of the first one that I showed you earlier. We were creating a activity for every time a sales order was created. So when we created this order, that one was created. But notice the follow-up with David Harris on sales order 6332. So you can see the contact is here, David Harris. That's why it picked that up. And if we open it up, this is what the task activity looks like. We're reminding ourselves immediately. So when David Chubb logs in, he's going to get a pop-up similar to Outlook. That's going to give him the option to go right into this task. Or you can snooze it. But notice what's happened here. So the task itself has a link back to the sales order. That's great. The order has a link to the task. So that's great. And if I go into tasks, and I go to all tasks, you can see my task was also created globally. So now for me, if it was created, I'm not David Chubb here, I'm Maxwell Baker, it just so happens, but I would go to my tasks area on a regular basis or I'd find it from a dashboard and I'd see some of the new things that I needed to do. Or we could create a dashboard that said, you know, here's all the tasks for credit hold orders. So this is very powerful. This is business events that now allow you to create a task. We've talked about the other ones. Find our videos for the other use cases for business events. But this one's very powerful. This will allow your team to follow up with task activities with reminders in the works. So thanks so much for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. We appreciate it. If you have any questions about business events or anything else Acumatica, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.